Quality Signs and Designs, 775-537-5575. In this week's court report, Damien McDaniel, a 19-year-old male, is arrested for the offenses of possession of a stolen vehicle, making a false statement to obstruct a public officer, and possession of less than one ounce of marijuana, first offense. An NCSO patrol officer pulled over McDaniel's vehicle after observing both a white small sedan and a reddish maroon SUV speeding while traveling southbound on State Route 160 near the Taco Bell. All four occupants of the small white sedan were restrained and after that vehicle was reportedly stolen, police say a loaded 357 pistol was recovered along with a plastic baggie that held a green leafy substance substance that later tested presumptive positive as marijuana. McDaniel, who originally tried to give a false name to investigating officers, told police that the vehicle belonged to his girlfriend's family, then later confirmed to officers that the owner did ask for the vehicle back and that McDaniel refused to return it. McDaniel also said that the firearm did not belong to him, but was placed in the car, possibly by his girlfriend's father. However, McDaniel did claim ownership of the marijuana. That vehicle was towed and McDaniel was booked into NCDC. During his first appearance in justice court, the court advised the defendant that probable cause was found and bail was set at $7,000 cash or bond. Additionally, the defendant was screened regarding his financial status and was appointed public defender attorney Nathan Gent to represent him. Attorney Gent motioned for an OR release, but the prosecutor opposed. However, the court granted that motion and released the defendant from custody with the following conditions. Number one, no alcohol, no marijuana, and no illegal drug use. Number two, no adverse contact with law enforcement. And number three, make all court dates and times. Notably, however, formal charges in justice court are still pending for McDaniel. And an arraignment hearing that was set for September 10th was vacated even after McDaniel agreed to appear at that proceeding. Formal charges also remain pending in justice court for Edward Coronado, the area man arrested and initially charged with owning or possession of a gun by a prohibited person, assault with a deadly weapon, and discharging a gun in or on a public thoroughfare or in a public space. Coronado is accused of firing at a man near the Who's Dunes bar, and that man fired back and shot Coronado in both legs after Coronado reportedly yelled at that man's younger brother and cocked a pistol toward that man. Coronado has an active cash bill or bond $50,000. Notably, Coronado was scheduled for an arraignment on September 9th, but that proceeding was vacated. A follow-up is now slated for November 1st. This has been your court report. I'm Unette Gentry for News 25.